For regular videos on ancient cultures and forgotten civilizations, please subscribe. It's been a while since we had some big news announcing the discovery of a pharaoh's tomb, though we do hear about the discovery of the burial places of queens and princes and princesses from time to time. It seems like during the 19th and 20th centuries, royal tomb discoveries abounded. Not as much lately. Before I began my serious study of ancient history, I assumed that as far as the kings of Egypt go, we were pretty much done. I mean, the Valley of the Kings is all tapped out, right? And we know generally where all the pyramids are. Surely there couldn't be that much left. Well, today we're going to talk about Egyptian pharaohs' tombs, whose location is still unknown. Have you ever wondered which kings are remaining? More than you would think. And some important ones, too. Join me as we look at the mystery of the missing Egyptian royal tombs. So from the 1st to the 30th dynasty of ancient Egypt, how many kings ruled? Approximately 175 to 185. How many tombs of kings have been found? Less than half. So as you can see, when it comes to locating royal burials, we have a long way to go. And if we include the entire royal family, we have found many, but many, many more have not been found. So, in regard to the kings, we might expect that the older tombs are the ones that have been most difficult to find. Not necessarily so. We know, for example, where the tombs of all eight rulers of the first dynasty are. They're in Umm el kab Abydos. But the second dynasty has been tricky. The first and third kings of the dynasty were buried at Saqqara, and the second king, Reneb, we think might be at Saqqara too, but we haven't found his. A couple of the later kings of this dynasty are at Abydos, but the rest are iffy. Djoser's step pyramid at Saqqara probably covered over a couple. And there was a civil war in the second dynasty, so that may have affected matters. For the period of the Old Kingdom, dynasties three to six, although there are a few attributions that are not definite for the more ephemeral minor kings, we have identified almost every royal tomb. The only major tomb of the Old Kingdom that is yet undiscovered is that of Userkara, the king of the early sixth dynasty. Now, only one sepulchre has been found from the first intermediate period, dynasties 7 to 10 and a part of 11, that of Ibi at South Saqqara. So there is a huge void of finds from this time. We expect, however, that the royal tombs of this chaotic time will be small. Ibi's is. But South Saqqara, which still has much to be excavated, is the most promising place to find some. Then we get into the Middle Kingdom, the 11th dynasty has turned up almost nothing. But the kings of the 12th dynasty all had pyramids, which we have been able to identify. Well, except for the last two, Amenemet IV and Nefru-Sobek. As for the 13th dynasty, well, we have pyramid remains at Dasher that probably belong to them, but we don't know whose is whose. The second intermediate period has left us as much in the dark as the first. Up until the 17th dynasty, there is a lack of identifiable tombs, no doubt contributed to by the political instability of the times. The tomb of Nubkepere Intef, also known as Inyotef VI of the 17th dynasty, was found at the Dra Abu El Naga Cemetery at Thebes, which has not been thoroughly explored, so there's a good chance that the tombs of other kings of this period will be found there. There's a theory that one rock-cut tomb there belonged to Amenhotep I, whose final resting place has been sought for a long time, but there still is no definitive evidence of this. What's interesting about Amenhotep I is that we have an ancient document that tells us his tomb location. It says it's near a temple called the House of Amenhotep of the Garden. The only problem is the temple is also undiscovered. The founder of the new kingdom, Amosa I, has a pyramid but no burial chamber has been discovered within it, so we aren't sure it was his tomb. Most of the kings of the New Kingdom, however, up to Ramses IX of the 20th dynasty, were interred in the Valley of the Kings near Thebes. We know where they are. 
The tomb of a minor king of short reign, Ramses VIII, has not been found. The most notable absence is Thutmose II, one of the major kings of the period. Don't know where his tomb is. The heretic king, Akhenaten, was originally interred at Amarna, and that tomb has been discovered. Then we get to Ramses X and XI, whose tombs have not been found. It's possible that they were buried at Per Ramesses in the Delta, but the Delta has a high water table, which makes the survival of tombs less likely. Several tombs of kings from the 21st and 22nd dynasty have been found at Tanis, but there are several missing, including the founder of the 21st dynasty, Nesbenebjed, better known as Smendis, also Siamun, Pasibkanu Sassanis II, Shawshank V. We have hardly anything from the 23rd and 24th dynasties. Then we get to the Kushite period, the 25th dynasty. All six rulers had pyramids, which were built in Nubia, near Napata. We know where they are. The rulers of the 26th dynasty are known to have ruled from the city of Sais, Sais. So we expect that their tombs are located near there. The Greek historian Herodotus even describes two of the tombs. But these have not been found. The city is in the delta, so the tombs may not have survived. Dynasty 27 was a Persian dynasty. We'll set it aside. Dynasty 28 only had one Egyptian ruler, and his tomb has not been found. The kings of Dynasty 29 had their tombs at Jedet, also known as Mendes, in the delta. The tomb of Nefarud I was found in a very devastated condition, and reused sarcophagi of some of these kings and some from Dynasty 30 have been found, but not their tombs. So as you can see, there is opportunity to find more royal tombs. What are the chances of finding one intact, with amazing treasures in it, like we had with Sassanis I or Tutankhamun? Well, most of the missing tombs are from minor kings, but there still are possibilities. What if Thutmose II's tomb is intact? Or Amosa the first, or Amenhotep the first. You never know. I hope, as I'm sure you do, that the mystery of their locations will be solved. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked it a lot, please consider donating with a super thanks. And if you like what this channel is doing and you want to help keep it alive, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash world of antiquity. You might like my little e-booklet, Why Ancient History Matters. It's designed to persuade people that the subject is important, even in the modern world. You might also wish to use it to help spread the word. So feel free to share it with someone you know. It's free for anyone who wants it. I've left a link in the description box below the video for you to grab a copy. Catch you later.